See, we got. Yeah. Yep, I like that one better. That one has better labels, so that that's the one you should use. Budding authors capture their illustrations for a book that will be seen far outside the walls of East Canton Elementary. The pages of this book from the third grade accelerated readers class are published online for anyone to see. I think it's actually like pretty cool because that way like other people can see what I've done. So they'll have an authentic audience so other people can look at their book. Um, their parents can go home and look at their book. Sometimes when they do a poster, the poster kind of just is hung up on the wall. We might see it passing in the hallway. This is something that they can go and show other people. Other kids their age can also read this book. See the little words that says, I know I look pretty, but I am toxic. Each child is writing and designing pages describing plants and animals found in a novel called The Rats of Nim. The story involves animal testing, and many living things mentioned in the book are unknown to the children. It opens their eyes to a new way of understanding and comprehending the book because, oh, I understand what a shrew does, or I understand what milkweed does, and that's how it relates to the story. So learning those nonfiction elements in a fiction story just brings your story to life, and now you understand it more deeply. Let's just look up Jim's story. I got a plan, Jim's story. So first I went to Kittle, the website. I searched up Jimson Weed. It came up as a whole bunch of little different websites in it. And then I found three different facts about Jimson Weed. And then when we find facts, we go on to like an app called Book Creator. Mm -hmm. And like we can create books with it. I'm doing a milkweed. So I'm looking up like milkweed facts and stuff. The pages look like comic books. Kids can add their own design flair with stickers and speech and thought bubbles. The cover is here. I think I'm gonna do a picture of a queen bee on like this one right here. Cause um, over here it says, where is my queen bee? It kind of be like a hook. You wanna pull people into the book like, make them want to read it. So littler kids, that would kind of be a hook because they would like have to find the queen bee or something. Every student can be working at their own pace and level. And for a teacher to have several activities going on in the room at once, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of prep work. In this case, because of technology, every kid was able to work at their own level. It was amazing that I could participate in that and not have to do all the busy work before See if it comes in. There. Teachers are there to help if needed, but students collaborate first among themselves to find the answer. They help me a little bit with it because sometimes I didn't know what how to like, I put a speech bubble but I didn't mean to, so someone helped me uh, with how to delete it. I always have them ask three people before they come and ask me. Because if they can actually teach somebody else, then they really understand it. So I'll show a couple kids and I tell them, hey, don't do it for them, you have to show them how to do it. So then once they teach that child, then that ch child can go teach somebody else. And it's amazing because they find these features or they find this and hey, I did it this way and look at that, you know, so it's neat to have them collaborate with each other. You just have to let them dive in and go for it. So it was difficult at first to let those reins go, but once I saw how well it went, I, I would do this continuously. I think kids learn better because they're in charge. Their retention level's huge, and the comprehension's better for us. I kind of like how you can use your imagination. You can like, like create whatever you want. 